You know, on this show, we like to kick the week off on a sour note. We're going to begin Monday's show with news abuse. That's where we chronicle the most despicable instances of media malfeasance in the last week. There are many to choose from, so we brought in media expert and media buzz host Howard Kurtz to do the choosing for us. Howie. Okay. So, many people have heard about the spectacularly wrong pool report about President Trump uh, removing the Oval Office bust of Martin Luther King. This was Time Magazine reporter uh, Zeke Miller, who then went on Twitter and wrote, Tweeting again, White House aide confirms MLK bust is still there. I looked for it in the Oval two times and didn't see it. My apologies to my colleagues. That got him a personalized lecture from Sean Spicer. After it was pointed out that this was just plain wrong, the reporter casually reported and tweeted out and tried to claim that a Secret Service must, agent must have just been standing in front of it. This was irresponsible and reckless. Well, you know, I guess, I, I mean, my reaction was twofold. One, there's nothing immoral about moving an MLK statue. It doesn't mean you don't like Martin Luther King Jr., of course. You can move the statue if you want. Mm -hmm. But two, it did seem like an honest mistake. And I know Zeke Miller, and I don't know what his politics are. I think he's a pretty fair guy, and I doubt he meant to do this. He owned up to the mistake. My problem is, this wasn't big breaking news. He could have waited, well, made, a, a, made a phone call, did you actually move this bus, rather than getting it wrong and getting the lecture. All right, now, the, uh, the president's uh, inaugural speech, a lot of pundits, especially on the left, did not like the America First theme. But listen to, and they're entitled to their opinion. Listen to what MSNBC's Chris Matthews had to say. When he said today, America first, it was not just the racial, I mean, the, I should say racial, the Hitlerian uh, background to it, but it was the uh, message I kept thinking, what does Theresa May think of this this morning when she picks up the papers and says, oh my God, what did he just say? <laughs> it's just like a volcano of dumbness. It's unbelievable. <laughs> so it's Hitlerian to say America first. Now, by the way, you know, there were some creepy people involved in America, the America first movement, the Lindbergh movement in the 30s yeah. and early 40s. But a lot of them just didn't want to go to war, and that's okay. You're allowed not to go to want, want to go to war. It doesn't make you a Hitler admirer. It's true that it has some unfortunate historical overtones. Some. But this came up in the campaign, and Trump said again and again he wasn't talking about that. He was trying to reinvent the slogan to capture what he thought. And, and, so for Chris Matthews to go there, I thought it was a cheap shot. But, but also to say, like, a leader of another country might not like it if you put your own country first. Like, that's so ludicrous. I wish someone had just said, whoa, Chris, wake up, son. Like, this weren't live TV. Stop. <laughs> Come on. All right. So when President-elect Trump was fighting with John Lewis about was he a legitimate president, uh, Martin Luther King III visited Trump at uh, Trump Tower, you may recall. And afterwards, he talked to reporters. And CNN's Jim Acosta, the guy who famously, repeatedly interrupted Trump yeah. during that news conference, went up and asked him a question. Look at how he framed it. Sir, if I may follow up, isn't there something that just cuts to your core when you hear the president-elect refer to John Lewis as all talk and no action? I mean, nothing could be further from the truth. Isn't that right? John Lewis is not all talk and no action. <laughs> I defended Jim Acosta because I'm not bothering people are rude to politicians. I, I like to be rude to politicians. But that just exposes him as the dumbest kind of editorialist. What, you're not allowed to criticize a sitting member of Congress for some reason? Like, well, what? What is that? Jim Acosta is a good reporter. But we, I, I know the, the whole art of asking leading questions. Well, don't, aren't you outraged about why so-and-so said? You're trying to gin up some news. But when you ask the question and then you answer your own question, <laughs> right. yeah, he's all talking no action. What is the point? Right. Isn't that right? Let me tell you a question. <laughs> all that. right. Before we go, I have an honorary mention. Saturday Night Live writer Katie Rich has been suspended indefinitely yes. for a really sick joke on Twitter about President Trump's son, Barron. So sick that I'm not going to repeat it here. Uh, he's 10 years old. Are there yeah. no limits? Well, I don't think with Trump there are, and I'm not you know, defending Trump, but I mean, it's still possible to be unfair to someone you don't like someone with whom you disagree. I mean, journalists should be fair, even if they despise the person, and they don't even try to be fair. But leave the kids and out. And leave the it. kids out. Right, that is the most unfair. He's not responsible for what his parents do. <laughs> none of us are. No. Thank heaven, none of us is. Anyway, Howie, great to see you. Great to see you, Tucker.